That's um, where all the SDS stuff gets buried. Rose wrote something just in case something like this did happen, and um, she sent this over to me, so I'll be reading that now. It's dated uh, April 26, 2023. I never really expected to write one of these, but in the wake of what happened at the wedding, I feel like it's important to say your piece while you still can. I hope this never has to be read out loud. But if so, I just want to start by saying I'm so grateful for my life and those around me. The people I've met and the friends I've made over the last few years have been incredible. Everyone in this city, cop, civilian, criminal, all bring a charm and special something that make up the place we all love and live in. To my friends, I want to start by thanking Deputy Chad Gable for pulling me off that mountain where we met while I was hunting and bringing yeah. me into dispatch. Damn! If for you, I don't think I would be where I am today in the SDSO. The place where the family stands? You're an incredible person and a champion of others. You have helped so many dispatchers and officers grow into the people they are today. We should all be so lucky to have touched as many as you have. Neil, you're one of a kind, and Baker Mayfield would be proud to see the man you are today. Oh, I'm screw so Baker Mayfield. In a click, 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 but also everyone's invited uh, to it because I don't want to exclude anyone. I don't know, to already allowed Getting it. to know you and ride with you over the last few months has made going on duty such a joy. I'm so glad you were my m man made of honor and I love the fo football themed bachelorette party you gave me. It was perfect. Wouldn't have changed anything, even the broken nose. I hope, uh, I hope we had a lot more adventures. Do you know, you are such a sweet soul that truly cares about the people around you. You see the good in people when they don't see it in themselves. Please always stay kind and gentle and keep helping people. Aww. You're brilliant and don't forget it. Johnny, we haven't known each other for too long, but you've made such an impression on my life. I'm not going to lie. I was very intimidated by you when we first in the met, but you turned out to be kind of a softy, but I won't tell anyone. I hope you find your peace. Archer, you've been an amazing friend to me. You're hilarious and sweet. You always make me laugh every time I see you. Keep working hard. You'll get to full deputy very soon. You got this. I believe in you. Roy the boy, I wouldn't be where I am today without you. You are the heart of the PD and bring happiness to everyone around you. Sheriff Toretti, thank you for bringing me into your department. You have built something incredible, a home for so many, including myself. Hope you are proud and know that you have helped so many. There was no war in Sandy Shores. There was no basement in Sandy Shores. Fuck Matt Rhodes. Damn! To my family, Aspen and Oxlong, I love you both so much. You welcomed me into your life, into your family and made me feel a part of, a part of it immediately. You both are incredible and amazing and put a smile on my face every day. I hope we got to do that picnic. Mom and Dad, I'm so sorry if you're listening to this. Neither of you deserve this. I love you both so much and feel so blessed to be part of your family. Dad, when are you going to make Mom your wife and not just be your pre-wife? Kai, it has been amazing getting to know you over the last year. You are a star and need to get on duty more often so you can get solo. Also, mow the grass, please. Love you. Gus, my amazing sister who threatened my husband with softball, with a softball bat. I love you so much. I love watching a league of their own with you multiple nights a week. Your help with the wedding is so much more than I can ever repay. I'm so glad we were able to spend all this time together and I just wish we had a little more. To my wonderful husband, Chris, 
We did it, honey. We finally got married. I remember being so nervous for our first day. I was so worried we wouldn't have anything to talk about. But we ended up sitting on that hill for three hours. And I have to say, it was the best day I've ever had. I'm so grateful for everything you've done for me. You always push me to believe in myself, even though most days I struggle to. Your love and support is the reason I was able to become the deputy and person I am today. I would not be me without you. You are my home, Chris. You are an incredible person, and you inspired the people around you to, do, to be better. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me, and I really, really hope you never have to read this. Because if you do, it means I'm gone, but please know, I wouldn't trade our time together for the world. I wouldn't change a single thing. I love you. To everyone else, all I will say is go after your happiness and treat people with kindness. Kindness is a funny thing. It's infectious. It only takes one small act of kindness to grow into a larger one. Sincerely, Rose. Chris. Yeah. RIP, man. 07. Spam it up, chat. I want to start. Uh, I want to start by saying thank you. Wait, Rose didn't thank Bass? I'm mad right now. It somebody really somebody start a clip Rose right now. I'm mad. It's an indicate. Rose was the best person I've ever known. She was the kindest, most thoughtful and caring person you could ever have hoped to meet. And I honestly feel bad for all the people that didn't get a chance to meet her themselves. I remember the first day me and Rose met, I was riding around with Toretti and Shelby and I made a passing joke that, uh, <clears throat> that I wanted to find a wife. Uh, they asked me what I thought about the new dispatcher, Rose, and told me to go talk to her. Uh, so I did. And we talked for a while, and uh, she told me she liked my hair uh, when no one else would. Who would have thought that that would have been the day that I met the love of my life? I gotta boost uh, Meek's prior right now. He's role playing so well, man. Rose cared for everybody in this city. She dedicated her career to it. She was always trying to make a difference and have a positive impact on everybody's life that she met, no matter what, no matter who they were, no matter what they did, even if it was to her. She would always tell me how much everybody telling her she did a good job meant to her. Uh, she loved her job and she loved all of you guys and she cherished all of your friendships and all the nice words you said about her she would always come to me and tell me there's nothing in the world that she would do to let you guys down Rose was loved dearly and there's never going to be a person that could replace her but we should all remember all the amazing things she did for all of us and how much good she did in our lives, even though it was cut off way too soon. Rose was my partner, my wife, and most of all, my best friend. I love you, Rose. I can't wait to see you again someday. Damn, dude. That was sad. Fuck, that was depressing. If, um, 
if anyone wants to say anything about Rose, we're going to make a line and uh, everybody will give them a chance to speak about her. We'll just start the line at the hearse uh, next to the uh, commissioner. I think we can start with Gable. I know he wants to say something. And just make a line pretty much over here from behind me. If you want to get in line to say something about her. At the end, we'll have the 21 gun salute and we'll let her rest. Gable? Thank you. What's up, Red? Hey! Does the line start right here? That was Fred that hey, said that. This thing on? Alright. I wanted to take this opportunity today to explain to everyone here that might not have been as familiar with Rose why she meant so much to all of us. I'll start with my personal. Yeah, part of my second of character. Was. And my third character, my fourth character. Uh, as she mentioned, Rose is someone I first met on a random night over a year ago. It must have been May 2022 or so. I was just doing regular cop things. I was performing hunting license checks up on the mountain above the lost compound. I ran into Rose, hunting legally, and the interaction with her was notably normal. I ran into somebody who was a true civilian, someone that had been through a journey, and I was impressed. I learned more about her. I learned more. I learned that she was a reformed gang banger, <laughs> as she, uh, you know, proudly liked to tote to a few people. She was divorced after her husband mysteriously went missing and that she cared a whole lot about her dog. I remember helping her she was. when a certain block kidnapped her dog. A couple more chance encounters later, and I nudged Rose towards dispatch. At this point, she had also ran into Toretti and Roy the boy. We were all super impressed by her, and her interview was only a formality. She was an instant hire. I remember onboarding her to dispatch, and right after, I called my colleague at the time, Riley Gray, celebrating us finding a good one. It was clear from day one the person that Rose was and the ability and potential she had. She went on to become a dispatch FDO herself, faster than almost anyone. Before long, she was wanted by every department in the police department. She chose the SDSO. She was a major part of what made the SDSO what it was. She was someone that damn near everyone I know liked and had nothing but good things to say about. She very quickly rose through the ranks to become a PDFDO herself, offering a softer, uh, offering a softer hand and guidance that was often lacking in PNT. She stepped up and cared for people and cadets that were slipping by. There are people here today, right now, who may not have made it to full deputy or officer if it was what was not for someone like Rose. She earned the respect of her colleagues, of civilians, of criminals, via her kindness and her competence. Rose Rhodes, to me, was someone who resisted becoming jaded by this stressful job. She had few enemies, she was fair, she was a fantastic sister, daughter, wife, and dog mom. A fantastic mentor and teacher, she was a BTF beast, a motor legend. She was my friend. I love you, Rose. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Are you next, Cooper? Yeah, I think so. Unless uh, go ahead. Commissioner is going. Fuck the commissioner. He can wait. This is from both uh, Roy the Boy and I. Fucking kill him. Never expected to be Cooper, yo. Yes, Cooper. Yo, famous um, slime, beautiful five months. I appreciate from you, thank uh, you. Wrote to, Roy the Boy and I. Well, I never expected to be here again after all the losses we've had. 
And I lose someone pretty close to me. Hooper should be in air one right now. Person that I mentored, someone that supported. What the hell is you doing up here? And a friend for life. A beacon of kindness. She was now. I remember when I first met Rose, working at Autos. I was being. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty trying to provoke the commissioner, but we're here to pay Fast respect for Rose. A few weeks. That's why Axel is going to be back. Radio. He doesn't want to make it about him. A seed had grown through his spout. And as dispatch, she met with Chris. Had a first date at the court center. I still remember crashing that date with James Arsenal and Shelby Lane singing songs just to, just to annoy the two. Before everyone there even knew it, the two of them were a pair. And Rose herself was a nervous little cadet in the SDSO. Sprout had gone strong and a bulb had formed. As a cadet, Rose <coughs> would always ask how she was doing. Scared and nervous. But before anyone there knew it, Rose was a full deputy. Always coming up to me with any issues or concerns she had. The bulb often encountered heavy winds. I've had to talk her out of resigning a couple of times. Probably the yeah, best thing I did the same thing for you, Cooper, too, on Vast, man. In my time here. But with supporting guidance, the flower bloomed into an FTO, senior deputy. Uh, it's already a lot of pride to be here for this funeral. Everyone in the SDSO was proud to see that flower bloom. Axel doesn't agree up. with it, but he knows that colors. right now is not the time to talk about it. In the same vein, I still remember when you stood up there at the Gentry Manor, both you and Chris. Being there as a groomman, show me two brightly colored shining flowers that, I've, that I'm happy to have seen and help grow. I gave you my badge, Rose, when I was in the bad spot. I hope you take it with you up there. Sadly enough, flowers don't bloom forever. At some point they will. And now your petters have fallen. Apparently neither do roses. Rest well, Rose. Hope the other blooming flowers that were taken away from us too soon treat you well. Fred, is your... Are you going to be full of puns when you go talk? Am I, am I next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're next. Right. Yeah, but to be fair, Preddy's like killing cops, you know what I'm saying, you know? Fuck all Thanks for letting me be here. Don't ruin her memory. Hey, how you doing? Uh, my name's Kyle Fred. I used to be the sheriff. Rose Rhodes was one of my best friends. You know, I was just having a conversation with O'Reilly back there. You can see her right back there with the stupid blue hair. Yeah, you know, I, was, I was telling her how much I would prefer if she was dead instead of Rose. I think we all can uh, find a little, you know, understanding with that statement. We all probably want it to be her. I know I do. Would have much preferred her to be gone. Wouldn't have even bothered coming to this thing. What? Well, here I am. And uh, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I'm going to perform a ballad. This is uh, dedicated to Rose. You were my best friend, and you will continue to be my best friend. <laughs> the classic. The <laughs> there used to be a great tower alone on the sea, and you became the light on the dark side oh of me. Oh my goodness. This is shower From singing, man. A drug that's high and not the pill. But did you know that when it snows, my eyes become large and the light that you shine can't be seen? Baby! I compare you to a kiss from a rose on the gray. Ooh, the more I get of you, the stranger it feels, yeah. And now that your rose is in bloom, a light hits the moon on the gray. Ba -da 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 we can stick churro on him. Oh my. Can we charge hey, him with a crime? Hey, hey. I don't want to interrupt you while you were fucking speaking, cocksucker! 
I'm hey, to fuck you! You're not gonna talk to him that way! <laughs> it should've been you in the casket! Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! You only got the job out of fucking pity! Get the fuck out of here! Or I'll put you in the next casket! Fuck you, man! Let me get this guy. Let me get this guy right here. Duro, get him! Beneath me, I'm not doing it. Churro. 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 <laughs> Don't bite. Charles got him. Yeah. That guy used to be the sheriff. <clears throat> Are we sure? Does anyone else want to say something? <laughs> the car, car boys have something to say. <laughs> keep it fucking respectful. <laughs> of course, of course. I love the Kara Kara boys, man. Hello? It's good? Hello. You're good. We're here for Rose, like many others are. You know? You guys view us as the. The Kara Kara boys should be an anime or a comic, I swear to God, man. In this game of life, this game of Someone's getting shot. I'm pretty sure it's on. Fred. Rose was always there, like stated before, that she was a BTF beast. She will always be remembered oh, within fuck. the Kara Kara Boy compound. I do wish he kind of caught us. We're good, I shot him down. Run, shot him down? <laughs> what? What just happened? No way. The crane? <laughs> what the fuck happened? Oh shit, they got it covered. Hey Gub, thank you so much for the, for the 47 months. I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for the 47 months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, and most of all, I got to meet Rose and uh, really get to kind of know her more as a person and her work ethic. Uh, she worked as hard as she possibly could to uh, make that a cohesive unit. She, um, when she was doing the trials, she was trying day after day after day. To the point where I was, I just saw the effort she was putting in, and I just said, "Hey, it's it's yours for the taking. Just you can have it right now. Don't even worry about it." And I think that day, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen somebody so grateful. And it was a testament to her character. She um, she really cared, and uh, I got to talking to her quite a bit after that. And I knew uh, once she was taken over as a motor lead, I knew it was in a good place. And I knew it was going to be taken care of to the best of anybody's ability. And um, I'll be honest, she did a better job than I did. So um, I think we're all uh, very happy to have had her influence on the whole thing. I'm going to miss her. Um, I'm sure we all will. I I was seen lead of the situation where uh first didn't make it and I just wanna say that I am sorry. Damn I'm dude sorry that I couldn't do better. Don't blame yourself, Pond. And I wish I'd done better. But you deserved better and you deserve to still be here. Deserve to be driving around on that motorbike, being a badass that you were. Terrible day for you rain. Deserve to be out here having fun and, and laughing with your husband. Damn. I'm trying to land that plane. Thank you for being you, Rose. 
I'm gonna miss you every day. Hello. My name is Alexis. And Rose was my mentor. I'm still a cadet in the SDSO. And although it was brief to have her teaching me, I learned a lot. And I have to say the most. Thank you, Rose, for um, helping me improve. And through you, I always wanted to get better. And I hope someday I'll be as great as a cop as you were. I didn't think I'd have to speak at. Um, I don't still remember. Hey, I hired her. I still remember every time she used to wait outside my office when I was just arguing with really stupid people about stupid things for hours. We'd wait out there and I'd come in and just simply to ask how I was doing. It was um, one of the sweetest, most considerate people I've, uh, I've ever met. And uh, we went through a rust a bit of a rough patch when we decided to leave for the troopers. Um, I think the reason I was so upset is because of um, how important she was to, to the SDSO and and to me. And. Uh, Glad we we got to settle our differences before this this happened. Um, bye, Rose. Uh, as his actual grave, Cuban. It's just added the little scene. Okay. Would anyone else like to say anything before we, uh, do the honors? Okay. If you're in the honor guard, I need you to move to the up front next to Toretti, side of the tombstone. Right. You guys are all in the honor guard? You saw. Alright. So you three shots, ready aim fire each time, right? Are right, ready? Aim. Fire. Ready. Aim. Fire.
Ready? Aim. Fire. Oh, seven. All right, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for putting up the funeral. Thank you for showing your presence. Showing Rose, maybe in her last moments, what it meant to, what we, what she meant to us. I'm not really great with my words, but I think just from looking around, she meant a whole lot. I hope she knows that. You want to stick around, say a few words privately. The casket will be around for much longer. That concludes the funeral. <laughs>